Hey everybody, it's Alvin Brown again from Integrated Peak Performance. Now, like I said, all year we're going to be featuring amateurs, pros from all levels of the fitness, bodybuilding, figure, anybody I can get my hands on, they're going on interview to pick their brain, get some nuggets from them. Because you know what, anybody on the journey, I've learned things over the years that they've been in the gym and they've been trying and pushing and they're probably where you are or maybe ahead of you. Anything I can get from them that will help you out, that's the goal. So now today, as promised, we're here with Dorian Hamilton. I like to call him DH doing it hard, Dorian Hamilton. Um, so he's in the house and the house of pain and we're going to you know, check it out. Let's see what Dorian can help us with. I got four questions for Dorian as usual, just short, sweet, get to the point. And uh, so the first one, as usual, 2014, Dorian, what's up? Uh, for 2014, I'm um, just going to be doing the Nationals for my second time, um, September 6th, so it's about nine months out. This time around, I'm just trying to stay uh, a little leaner in the past. I've gotten really out of shape, and I kind of have a hard time dealing my conditioning. Mm -hmm. So this time, I want to try and stay you know, within 15 pounds of contest mm -hmm. weight, just mm -hmm. in shirts. For me, for me to win, I think I have to be just shredded, mm -hmm. so I'm going to try to come in you know, the best condition I can. Sweet. Okay. It's a focus. Okay. All right. Uh, number two. Now, what changes? What you know? There's a lot of things you can do to come in your target, but uh, what are some focus points for you? You think this year? Some of the focus points, um, like physique-wise, um, my body's pretty balanced, but just my back, I kind of got to make that bigger and thicker. It's kind of my my weak body mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like I said, it's the conditioning. You know, mm -hmm. I just gotta nail my conditioning, mm -hmm. and then uh, I, I think I'm good to go. Okay, cool. And now, see, that's the kind of thing where, again, picking the nuggets out. Dorian has a plan. 2014, he's got the goal. The it's set. That you know, he's got the event that he wants to appear at. It's set. And now he's narrowed it down to a few things that he wants to focus on. So again, that's the key. Is I find this sport is a long term, it's a marathon, it's not really a sprint to get anywhere, it's a marathon, so each year you just take your small goals and you hit them and by the time you're there it's, you know, it's game. And every year you'll be changing anyways. So number three, Dorian, uh, it's a long, like I said, it's a marathon. How do you stay motivated? Um, well I surround myself with a lot of people who are better than me, so a couple of my training partners are pros. Um, me and my other training partners, competitive bodybuilders. So we're all sort of, we all kind of motivate each other and mm -hmm. we all kind of push each other. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's uh, kind of like a friendly rivalry. And mm -hmm. we're always, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that really helps keep me motivated. Yeah. You know, seeing them, seeing them do well at the shows and, you know, I want to get to where they are. Mm -hmm. So it pushes me. Yeah. You know, I'm hungry to get to where they are. Mm -hmm. so. And I'm sure you do, and I've spoke to his training partners, and I'm sure he, he motivates them too. So it's a two-way street. It's not just him taking. He's actually giving by motivating them, that young, eager energy to get there. It motivates them. So and then I want you to also step back and look at that other, another clue again, association, who you're associated with. If you're the biggest dog in your pound, and you're not going to grow. Okay, what, you, what you'll surround yourself is, with is yes people. Yeah, you're great. Yeah, you're great. But what you want to do is surround yourself with people who will be real with you, who will tell you that you need some work or, or you got to strive. So again, the power of association, who you're associating, associating yourself with is key to getting you where you want to go. Again, if don't be the biggest dog. Don't be the smartest one in your group. Don't be the top of the totem pole. You got to sometimes step back and push yourself and motivate yourself that way. So uh, again, don't miss those nuggets. Number four, when you win, this year, whenever it takes, whatever it takes, when you get there, how are you going to be different? How, what message are you going to stand for? Because again, there's a lot of IFBB pros out there, and how do you carve yourself out from all of them? Well, myself, I mean, I've always been really consistent. I've always had a plan. I've always stuck to it. Um, I mean, if you talk to some of my training partners and stuff, they think I'm crazy because if I have something set that I'm following or I don't like to deviate, I like to stick to the plan and really mm -hmm. consistent. Mm -hmm. So I think, I mean, for me, to, for, you know, if I, when I turn pro, I think that's a big thing of how I got there was just mm -hmm. being so consistent, mm -hmm. you know, never missing meals, 
never missing my training, never missing my therapy, mm -hmm. stretching, mm -hmm. you know, everything together, just being very consistent. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, you know, Dora and I were talking and I got to agree, he's uh, like, you know, like the, like the postman, he always delivers, you know what I mean? Um, he's always here. He drives from, just to come to see me, he drives from hour and a half, hour. And no matter, you know, weather-wise, it doesn't matter, he's consistent. Uh, I mean, it's yours. It's almost like if you, if it's an attestment to him, he's probably going to be like uh, the Blade, who, again, it's up to you to lose, but all, all he knows, he's going to show up every time. And it's, you, it's for you to have a bad day. Otherwise, he's not going to be there. So again, that's another secret to success is being consistent. And there's, you know, everybody can be great once, twice in their career. You know, they can have some moments of greatness, but can you have consistency? And that's the true legend. When you leave a legend, when you follow a legend or look at one, that's a key right there is consistency. Every day, sick, every day, never stop. So again, that's Dorian Hamilton. Watch out for him, 2014, gonna be a big year. Um, it's gonna be huge. So I'll be there, I'll be watching, I'll be on the, the boat, I'll be you know, all in with him. So again, Alvin Brown, Integrated Peak Performance. I will talk to you soon for another interview. Keep watching, here we come. 2014, take action, we're out. Dorian? I'll see you guys later. All right.